I'm going to show you the best cover two beater in Madden 24, and it comes to us out of the New England Patriots playbook or the Packers playbook, and we're looking at the trip side in formation. And we're going to be going over the play YN. Now, this play is really good against man coverage as well, uh, which we'll get to in just a second. But I want to first show this to you against cover two because this play destroys cover two, and you're going to need cover two beaters because what a lot of people are going to start doing is they're going to start going to a double Mabel approach. Uh, to their defense and the main reason why is just because of how good the three-man rush is and the double Mabel will take away any kind of corner routes or, or crossers so this concept does a really good job of attacking this um, so we're going to put the tight end on a tight end press post now that we can do that um, and then we're going to zig the middle trips receiver we're going to slant the inside trips receiver and we're going to block our running back and basically what you're going to see is against a double Mabel cover two style defense the deep half is going to get pulled by the slant and then this just absolutely destroys cover two for a one play score. Now, this is also really important because it's going to beat cover two no matter what. They, they can put a middle third on there and it will make the read a little muddy, but you'll have more stuff open underneath if they make that decision. So I'm not too worried about that. But the big thing I want to show you here is even if they leave that mid read on the field, the mid read did go to the post, but it's a step behind because of that tight end post route. And then it's going to be open there as well for you. Now, the other cool part about this is, as I said, like, let's say they put this guy in the middle, uh, middle third. Then now what you're going to be able to do is you can work your underneath game. Um, your tight end post is going to be wide open. You have a lot of other stuff that you can do. So, like, here, see how the tight end post kind of gets in that side? I got to throw that just a little bit earlier. But let's say we're playing, like, nickel 3-3, okay? And they're putting one of these linebackers in the deep third, and then they're going to use her, this guy, over the middle. Field. Well, they have to make a choice between the slant and the tight end post uh, as to who they're going to be defending. So you'll see here, this time they choose the slant, so we can throw this kind of right in this little alleyway, kind of a tender spot to get the ball, but you can certainly fit that in there. So even if you're playing someone that's truly dropping eight people in coverage, you are still going to be able to have some answers. The other thing you have with this is let's say they were double mabling out of this. So they're double mabling and they're having this guy go in the deep middle third. Well, now this guy is all alone in the middle of the field. And so because he's all alone in the middle of the field, it's even more so he has to choose between the slant and the post. Here he chooses the slant. We throw the post before it reaches the cloud. And now you've got a really nice uh, little way to attack the coverage. Now, as I said in the beginning, this play also beats every kind of man coverage you're going to face. So first style of man coverage we're going to face is just a send five uh, cover zero. So if they do that, you are blocking your running back, so you should be able to block the blitz long enough to hit your slant or to hit your tight end post. Those two are the two main routes we're looking for um, in that situation. Now, let's say, for example, that your opponent decides, okay, well, you know, didn't like how that went, right? So we're going to go to, um, you know, a cover one style of defense. So it might look something like basically this here. And then they're going to have this guy on this guy, they're going to have this guy here, and then maybe this guy in a flat zone, for example. Um, you're going to have your zig against this, but they do have a hard flat, so just understand that. But then this is where this play becomes powerful, is you have your slant. You also have your tight end post that is going to be able to beat man coverage across the formation. So that's how you're going to be able to attack cover zero, cover two, or, in, in, uh, or cover zero and cover one. And then let's say that they don't have any deep safety help in the middle of the field. So maybe they go with a, a covered shell that looks like this, uh, more of a cover two man shaded underneath. This uh, is also going to be a really good play to attack that because we know that the deep half gets pulled by the slant route. So the slant route is going to pull that deep half, right? And then look at this skinny post over the top for a one play score or a potential big play against cover two man. This play is extremely versatile. It really is a great play uh, to have if you run trip side in because a lot of people are starting to run cover two style defenses in Madden 24. And this, you just really can't do that um, against a against a play as good as this one. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire trip side in offensive ebook, the link's going to be down in the description. $10 will get you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. So thanks for watching the video. And if you want to get the rest of the trip side in stuff, Make sure you join the Patreon by heading down to the description and uh, clicking the link down below.